I was invited to perform a recital as part of the 200th celebration at St George's Bristol. To make the occasion more special, I also had the pleasure of conducting multiple workshops for local schools. For those who know me, you're aware of how passionate I am about education workshops and outreach projects. It's a joy to witness the impact of music on so many young minds. I have the rest of the day free. So what am I going to do? Of course, I'm going to absorb the atmosphere of this city. There's quite a few museums dotted around here. I think this is one of these museums. Maybe. No. All of these statues. If I am not mistaken, these statues were not green, but they were once bronze is rusted and oh we have somehow landed ourselves at the department of music at the university of bristol Mines. that is pretty cool these are if i'm not mistaken corinthian pillars because of their intricate style and design and this type of architecture oh gosh i forgot the name I read like books about architecture, about these type of buildings. It's like in ancient Greece, they had buildings like this. Woo, nice. This is the Victoria rooms. And let us see who this is. Edward the five, six, seven, seventh. Edward the seventh from 1901 to 1910. Now, let's do some history trivia. Who died in 1901 at the age of 83? You're right, it's Queen Victoria. He was Queen Victoria's eldest son. Now I'm going to spill a bit of my history knowledge. So, did you know why Queen Victoria was called the grandmother of Europe? Do you know that Victoria's eldest child was called Victoria Royal? She married into the Germans and her son was Kaiser Wilhelm II whom this guy, oh no not this guy, this guy's son would later this guy's son would fight in World War I and who was Victoria's fourth child? Alice! And who did Alice marry? She also married the Germans. And who was one of her children? Alice of Russia. She married Nicholas II of Russia, the last emperor. They had five children, four daughters and a son. And no, they did not survive, unfortunately. I wanted them to survive. I read like a lot of the, the books about the children's lives. And like, yeah, no, they didn't survive, sadly. So this is why Victoria is known as the grandmother of Europe because all of her children, her nine children, haven't touched on Victorian history in the past four years. So this is just from the depths of my memory. But yes, she hasn't, all of her children married into royal families and they would all fight against each other during the world wars. That's a bit of history knowledge for you. Here is the Academy of Art. Oh look, there's some birds here. Wow! They are called pigeons? Oh my gosh, that's a new thing. Learn something new every day, I guess. 
This road is called University Road. Free entry. Basically, they are underwater dinosaurs, aren't they? Ichthyosaurs are the most common sea dragons. They're like dolphin shaped. Narrow snout, teeth, large eyes, powerful tail. 30 million. 13 meters long. Roman style corns. The Romans. This is a Bristol box kite. Look at this. This kid is looking like he's staring straight into my soul. It must be uncomfortable staying up there in the sky all the time. This is a nice chandelier. Interesting design. Look at that. Long. Flautist here. Yeah, tell me, what do you think of this flute? Animals. Crystals. This. Is a quartz. It's white because quartz, which is found at a lower uh, sea level, are white. The higher it goes, the darker it gets. So if you get a really black quartz, that means it was excavated at a very high point above the sea. And look at these. Oh, Bone quartz models and geodes. Beautiful. <gasps> Fluorescence. Yeah. See, that's another quartz. See, smoky quartz. That means it came from a very high point. This is pyrite. Do you know what pyrite is called? It's called Katzen gold because it is often called fool's gold. Oh yeah, it says here, fool's gold. That's because it looks like gold, but it isn't. But you should not touch it with your bare hands because do not touch it with your bare hands because it will get smudgy and it will leave your fingerprints on it. But this is pyrite. Fool's gold. Cats and gold. Cat gold. Okay, now let's see. More gold. No gold. Yeah. That's real gold. See that? That's gold. Okay, that is a very questionable fucking... <laughs> More quartz. Meteorite. No way. This came from outer space. <gasps> more pyrite. More pyrite. More. Oh wait, I'm gonna become a. I'm gonna become a drone fucker. Watch this. Now we are in the China section. Now we are in the China section. Here, the ocean. You don't know what Middle East. Oh my god, look at that script. But that's pretty cool. 19s. Okay, nice. Okay. 
素一起。你看像这个呢，就是纯粹是观赏的，把它做成屏风放在里边，你怎么能欣赏它？你后边要把它亮起来，这样的话你才能看到里边雕刻的是什么。所以它后边放一个灯，这个这盘子不是用来吃饭或者什么，就是摆在那观赏。放在这个小上呀， yeah, 所以叫看盘，只是看盘子，不是复制。Display only 呀、yeah, ，不是用来吃食物。你看，中国古代的时候都是这种米的，用一个方方正正的，正盘放在里面。红木的都是最高级的。嗯。送送啊，对你好吗？所以差不多小学了哈，挣钱，把钱放在那个箱子里面，就像，就别人一动，一人一动才行。你知道这是什么吗？这里是放酒的地方，你的白酒就放里面。对，然后你就倒一会儿，就放酒了。放进。There is so much in this museum, so much and so little time to see everything. I would stay here well, for the rest of the day, but Mum and Grandma are hungry, so we have to leave. 你要吃饭吗？肚子好饿呀，所以你 prioritize hunger for food over hunger for knowledge。What's that? You can see exactly where it is. Caldecott. Oh, the largest collection of wildfowl species in the world. Well, this this one's so rare you can't even find it on the map. Mm -hmm. These are in England. I've never seen any of these. Are they still? These are not extinct, are they? It's chiming. Fourth chime. Because it's 5 p.m. now. This thing is longer than my face. So it is um wild berry mojito. This one's for you. So we got the first dishes. I was truly overwhelmed by the enthusiastic and attentive students from the schools. A big shout out also goes to Prelude's Bristol Ensemble for helping to organize the workshops. In the rain, I'm sitting in the rain. 